Hi there, today we'll be talking about numerators and denominators. Well, let's understand parts of a fraction. Numerator, denominator. Numerator is the number on top. Denominator is the number on the bottom. So one third is made up of a numerator and a denominator. How do you represent one third? What does that mean? Well, if I gave you this rectangle with three parts, three total parts, that is the denominator. And I only want one part shaded out of the three. So the one is a small part of the total parts, one third. So let's look at another problem. Now we have a shaded rectangle with three parts. So let's write the fraction for this. Well, we learned the numerators are on top, denominators on the bottom. However, what is my total parts or my denominator? One, two, three. So three goes in the denominator position. What is in the numerator position? How many parts are shaded? One, two. Two out of the three total parts are shaded. Two thirds. Let's try another problem. Now we have a yummy pizza pie. And we want to eat three parts of that pieces of that pie out of four. Well, if you look at this problem, I want to have three parts shaded out of four total parts. So one, two, three. Three out of four. Three parts out of four total. What if I asked you, what part is not shaded? What part of the pizza pie is left? Well, I only see one out of four total parts. So it'd be one fourth. Again, one is in the numerator, four is in the denominator, one fourth. Let's try another problem. Five eighths. Five is in the numerator, eight is in the denominator. That means we have eight total parts and five is a part of the total, five eighths. A fun way to remember denominators versus numerators is that D for down, D for denominator. So the number that's on the bottom or down is the denominator. The number on top is the numerator. I hope you learned a lot about fractions today. Be sure to like and subscribe and practice on your own. Thank you.